In this video, we're going over some of the most important adductor exercises for hockey players. Adductor and groin exercises are some of the most essential exercises for hockey players to stay healthy and maintain peak performance all season. Hey guys, welcome back to Relentless Hockey. My name's Kyle, and today we're going over some of the most essential groin or adductor exercises for hockey players. So this isn't anything exciting. It's not a quick feet drill, it's not a heavy lift, but some of these exercises are essential for hockey players to maintain their health and overall performance over the entire season and long-term in their career. We find that a lot of players get these groin injuries, even small tweaks or pulls that can hold them off the ice for weeks or even months. So in this video, we're gonna go over some of the exercises that we include in our Relentless Hockey programs and exercises that we feel should be in every Every hockey players program. All right, so a lot of hockey players understand the importance of stretching their groin, but we're actually gonna break this into two categories. So first, we're gonna focus on groin or adductor stretches, and then second, we're gonna focus on strengthening exercises. And both are equally important, and I would actually argue that the strengthening exercises for hockey players is even more important. So our first stretch here for the adductors is just a classic frog stretch. So we're gonna be down in a split position like this, and then we're just gonna be pushing our hips as far back as we can, holding for a second, and then making it active and driving our hips forward. We're gonna perform this for around 10 10 to 15 seconds and really focusing on driving forward and backwards as much as we can to create a little bit more range. This exercise is the half kneeling adductor rock. So we're gonna have one leg straight out and similar to the frog stretch, we're gonna be focusing on driving our hips as far back as we can and then as far forward as we can. But because we're split, we're gonna get a little bit more stretch in through those adductors. You're gonna to wanna to perform this between 10 and 15 seconds and really focus on increasing your range every single time you're driving forward. All right, so our next groin stretch is actually active on one side and passive on the other. So we're gonna use a box, uh, we could use a couch or anything that's gonna elevate our foot, and then we're just gonna focus on sitting back in this hip, and we should feel a stretch all the way through those adductors on the opposite side. So while we're active on our one side, we're passive on our other, and really focusing on trying to create as much range as we can. So as we're at the bottom of this movement, it's really important to try and get a little bit extra stretch that feels a little bit more uncomfortable than we normally would go, and then letting go. We're gonna repeat this for around 10 to 15 reps and really focusing on range the entire entire time. All right, so our next set of exercises are strength-based exercises. And this is really important for hockey players and something we put a lot of emphasis on in our programs because adductor strength is probably the best predictor of groin injuries. So if you wanna avoid groin injuries, you need to make sure that you're maintaining your strength or enhancing your strength in your adductors. So our first exercise is the adductor side plank. And this is very similar to the classic side plank you've likely seen, but instead of being on two legs, we're actually gonna be just on one and have it loaded up a lot through our groin. So as I get set into my side plank position, instead of having both both legs down, I'm actually gonna be loaded up only on my outside leg and have a lift off. So here we wanna be able to hold this exercise for around 20 seconds. And if you can't hold it for 20 seconds, it means that you need to make a special emphasis on this exercise. Our next exercise is the Copenhagen Iso Cold. So this is an exercise that's very similar to the adductor side plank, but this time we're gonna load up a little bit more through the groin because we're gonna have our foot elevated. So just like setting up for a side plank, we wanna make sure that we are fully braced from head all the way down to foot, but this time I'm gonna have my foot elevated on a box and that's gonna load up my groin a lot more. So typically we'll progress this exercise from the adductor side plank and really making sure that we can hold this position for around 20 to 30 seconds. The lateral weight shift is a great exercise for hockey players to start to load up their groin and actually focus on controlling a new range. So here we're gonna have some sort of weight. In my case, I'm gonna use a plate and I'm just gonna make sure that I'm holding it at a nice position where I can then sink in to a nice low position and then just slide over in the lateral weight shift. So here I've placed a lot of emphasis on being able to control a range of my groin and really load up those adductors into a position that it has to be very strong to maintain these positions. You're gonna to wanna to perform this anywhere between eight and 12 reps and really focus on maintaining control through the entire movement. So the Kozak squat is one of our favorite exercises for hockey players because not only does it increase the strength in the adductors and hamstrings, but it also is an exercise that's gonna challenge your control in low positions. So here we're gonna have some sort of plate and we actually find that the lower we get and press out, the easier the exercise gets. But in my case, I'm gonna sink back down as low as I can and then I'm opening my toe at the end of the range. The same thing on the other side and making sure that I'm controlling as much range as I can and not bouncing down or jerking into any sort of positions here. You're gonna perform this exercise between eight and 12 reps 
per side and really focus on your range of control. Adductor sliders are one of our favorite exercises for hockey players to begin to load up the groin very deliberately. So in this case, we're gonna use a slider, but you could even use your socks on some sort of hardwood. And we're just gonna throw it down underneath our foot. And then as I'm lunging sideways or our lateral portion, we are then going to have a pull where we're bringing a lot of weight and a lot of load specifically on those adductors. So this is an exercise that's incredibly challenging for a lot of players that don't have the strength or the requisite strength to be able to control this range. You're gonna to wanna to perform this between eight and 12 reps and really focus on control at that bottom range and then loading up deliberately through the adductors on the way it back up. All right, so those are some of our favorite adductor exercises for hockey players. And I know these exercises aren't very exciting. It's not a quick feet drill. It's not lifting something heavy. But in my opinion, these are the exercises that are gonna keep high performance hockey players on the ice and maintaining their performance all season. Research has continuously shown that the strength deficiencies between your adductors and abductors are the number one cause of groin pulls. And even a small tweak or pull in your groin can keep you off the ice for weeks or even months. So if you're serious about your performance, these are the exercises that you need to be including in your workouts. If you're in this kind of stuff please head over to our youtube channel and subscribe or check out relentlesshockey.com to get your program and get started today